Hello, Dr. Kemp here, the Hammond Doc. And I just received some new switches. Um, they're vintage switches, so they're not n brand new. Uh, they look new now because I just finished cleaning them, and you can go back and watch the videos of my doing that. And uh, But what came along with these switches, and I'll, I'll show, show, you, show you the switches now. I mean, here the switches are now. Ivory, these are mint condition. Now they're mint condition. Uh, ivory uh, Leslie switches. These are very rare, very, very rare, and most desired. Very desirable by Hammond organists or Hammond organ, uh, organ collectors. But I got some cords that, that came with them, and these are, these are very dirty, so I'm going to clean the cords in this video. And, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a half tub of towels here. I have uh, Clorox disinfectant wipes. I have some DG disinfectant wipes. Uh, I have wet ones. You can use any of those products uh, to clean uh, these things, these items, as well as uh, clean the keys on your Hammond organ. There's no need to be playing Hammond organ with dirty keys. And no need to be playing um, one with with dirty cords and, and so forth. Let me take a picture of these before I clean them up, so that I'll be able to do a before and after um, show of these on Facebook. They arrived to me dirty like this, and I sell items too, but I wouldn't sell anybody or send anybody anything that's looking like this, not dirty like this. So I'm gonna clean it up first. So before it leaves my shop, if you ever buy anything from me. Before it leaves my shop, I promise that it will not leave looking like this filthy, dirty. I'm going to take some wipes and I'm going to do this to it. This is all it takes. Look at that, look at that. Tell them what's on this thing. Mm. I'm not even going to show you my face on camera as I'm cleaning this thing because I'm looking like <laughs> this is nasty. This is so nasty. Ooh. Mm. probably just cut that end off. I don't like the way that looks. I just don't like it. That's going to get clipped. That's gone.
right, let's see here. I have so many of these things. We'll grab a couple here. Okay, so see how clean these are now. Pick up this other cord here. See what we get off of it. So. Whatever was on that other one, the same kind of stuff is on this. I get something like this. I won't even put it up or put it in the bags. I won't. I won't even store it until I've cleaned it up. Because when I pull it from the bag, I want to be able to use it or sell it to someone who can use it. And when they receive it, it's going to be clean. It's not going to be looking like what happened here. Look at what came off of that cord. Turn it over one more time. See if I can get any more off. Because maybe I missed a spot. I don't want to miss a spot. clean now. That's a good cleaning job. Let's see. On this switch I don't think I got this one so let me get this cord. I think that does it. Now I can take um, some after pictures. I already have the before pictures. And I can come back and take some after pictures because now I feel much better about the appearance of these uh, switches and the cords that, that go along with them. They are clean now and they look good and worthy of going on a good looking clean Hammond organ. So um, if your, your keys are dirty 
on your organ. Use some of these wet wipes uh, to clean them up. Um, if your switches are dirty. Or if you haven't done it in a while, go ahead and use some of these wet wipes and clean your switches up. You can do that. It's easy to do. Clean your keys up the black the black keys as well as the white keys. Um, the, the preset the preset keys as well. Uh, clean those up. Clean them off with these uh, wet wet wipes, disinfectant wipes, and um, help keep yourself healthy. So until the next video, this is Dr. Kemp, the Hammond Doc, with some sound health advice. Please have a peaceful evening. Goodbye.